Yo, what is going on guys? Glassify here and today I'm bringing you guys my third out of four videos for the Nemesis DLC. Basically in this video I'm going to be going over jumps and spots for Dynasty, which is one of the four new maps in the Nemesis DLC for Call of Duty Ghosts. I did one for Showtime and I did one for Sub-Zero. If you missed those videos, I'll link them below and I'll put an annotation on screen now. So go check those out if you haven't already. I got insane feedback on those videos and thank you guys so much for that. So I decided to bring out two more videos for the last two maps, Dynasty and Gold Rush. Gold Rush video should be going up either tomorrow or later today after seeing this video. But anyways guys, let's get right into the video. So first off on screen now you're seeing the first choke point for Dynasty. I found this out playing online. I find out all the choke points from playing multiple matches on the maps and finding out where the most traffic is on the map and where people always get the most kills at. But here's the first one and I'll show you guys right now where that is exactly in the game. So as you can see here, this is the first choke point. People always like to sit here in this doorway or up here on this staircase and they look down. And people always run by here because they're going in the middle of the map and whatnot. But anyways, guys, here's the second choke point. It's in the middle of the map, as you can see. And there's actually two choke points here. There's one, like above in the middle of the map and there's actually a like bottom section or underground section like in the middle of the map and people like to sit above and below that so i'll show you guys both of those right now so here's the second choke point it's basically two as you can see this is the one that's above the map as you can see there's three doorways here that people can come through and that's why it's such high traffic spot because it's in the middle of the map it's where everybody goes to because it connects to all parts of the map and here's the choke point that's right below it as you can see there's a staircase you go down there's a staircase right across from it and then a long hallway people always camp in this corner and look down the hallway so then people coming down the two staircases can't see them and they kill them so watch out for those campers so as you can see here, this is the third one, and it's basically on this staircase. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's right out front of the Federation spawn. And the staircase, like, it's one that connects to the middle of the map. But I have a counter to all three, or basically four, of these choke points that I'll be showing you guys here shortly. But anyways, as you can see on screen right now, this is where the last choke point is at. Basically, kids sit up on this platform, and they look out to that staircase that connects to the middle building, and they just look out into where a lot of people run to, and it's right up there, as you can see. And it's actually a really hard spot to get people out of, but I found a really cool spot to get them out of that I'll be showing you guys here shortly. So here on screen now are all three of the choke points put together. It's basically four because the middle one is two, like I said, above and below ground. But I'm going to be showing you guys a counter to all three or basically four of these choke points. And first off, we're going to start with the one at the top of the map. So here at this first choke point, people always sit in this doorway and spawn trap you in this building. I know this has happened to me multiple times playing this map. And a way to counter that is to come over here to these plants. I don't even know what type of plants these are. But you have a perfect line of sight if you stand up straight right to the doorway. As you can see, you can see the wooden door on the other side. And if anybody's sitting in that doorway trying to spawn trap you in here, you can take them out easily and they will never know what's coming from. Because here in a second, I'll show you their perspective of it and you'll never be seen if you're in this spot. As you can see here, if you're over here, it just looks like a big mumble jumble of leaves. And y there's no way they're ever going to see you in there if you can make it over there undetected. So I'm actually going to save the middle choke point for last because that's definitely the best. But here on this the third choke point over by the staircase, you go on this box and you lean around the corner on this brick wall. And you take them out easily and they'll never see what's coming because I actually slowed this down so I can keep up with the gameplay. But you can see here that if they're up here, they're never going to be looking exactly there to the right, right by the right brick wall. Brick wall, pardon me. But as you can see, if you're standing up on there, they're never going to spot you. I promise you guys, I've done this multiple times and I've taken them out with ease in multiplayer. So here we are in the middle of the map for the last choke point. There are a bunch of counters to these. As you can see, people are always sitting here because there's three doorways that people can come through. And whenever somebody is in here, they try blocking the doorways with IEDs and they camp the doorways and take you out when you go in. So instead of going in and getting blasted up, you can go through three windows, actually. So there's three doorways and three windows. All you have to do is come over here to this window. You hop up on this box and you hop through the window and bam, you're in. Take anybody out blocking the doorway or guarding the doorway so here's the second one actually you're out here all you do is you hop up on this little balcony it looks like you can't hop on it but you can hop up on this corner right here as you can see and you just hop up on it and then you run over the window climb in and take them out 
And then here for the last doorway, you're gonna, or last window, I should say, uh, it looks like you can't get in, actually, if you're outside of it, as you can see, but you can. All you have to do is hop up on these boxes, and then this might be a little tricky for some people, where you just jump to the window, and then you go in, and that's the final window. And now I have two little things that I want to show you guys that are kind of not in any high traffic spots on the map, but if the right scenario is there, these work out perfect. So if there's somebody over here on this part of the map and they're camping in that corner I just shot at and you don't want to take them out, you can run this way, which most people do, and over the bridge and take them out. But this is really bad because there's people sitting back there all the time and they can take you out easily. But the best way to take them out is to run over here, hop up on these boxes. Nobody expects this because nobody knows about this really. And then bam, take them out. And if there's anybody camping that long hallway I just shot at, you can instantly take them out. And they're never going to be expecting you to come from this side because nobody sits over here. But when they do, that's perfect way to take them out so next up here we have a line of sight that i found out which is another way for taking out people in that hallway but if they're right in front of the hallway you just sit here and you lean around this corner which is really cool and you can take them out easily and they're never going to see it coming because i'm going to be showing their perspective they are never going to be looking over there because there's not a pathway to sit at or anything but you can hop up on that ledge and look out way far to the left and they're never going to see it coming i promise you guys i've used that multiple times online it works out perfect and i never get killed and i always take them out but anyways guys that is it for dynasty tips and tricks this is one of the four brand new maps for the nemesis dlc in call of duty ghosts if you learned something new please leave a like down below to help me out a lot i put a lot of time and effort into making this along with the other two videos and the one you're going to be seeing tomorrow for gold rush but like i said leave a like if you enjoyed and my name is glassify hope you enjoyed i'm out peace